Hi everyone, welcome back. I um, wanted to give you an overview in this video of a new piece of kind of late autumn, early winter clothing that I've picked up uh, probably about a month ago now. And it's the Ridgeline Grizzly Jacket. It's a new jacket just released by, uh, by Ridgeline, who most people probably know for the Monsoon Euro 2 jacket or the Raw jackets. And they're very much considered um, real heavy weather type, you know, pieces of clothing. This is considered a step down from those two. Um, it's made of a very, very heavy fleece and it is considered to be waterproof and particularly windproof. There's no liner on this particular jacket, unlike the Raw and the Monsoon 2. Um, a lot of feedback that's been had about those two is that when you do a lot of activity, a lot of walking, it can generate a lot of uh, moisture and sweat within, within the jacket. So I picked this one up because I do a lot of walking through the woods and I don't tend to stay in one, one place uh, a great deal of time. Um, priced at around about £70, it's about half the price of those two jackets. I've been wearing it for the last month and I've got to say that it is absolutely a bomb-proof jacket. Really, really works well. I haven't overheated in it at all and so far I'm really impressed with it. So this is not so much of a review, more kind of introduction. Um, starting off at the bottom, it's uh, a long length jacket that comes right down to your knees basically um, and around the back it's got a nice long length there that covers the backside. Um, so if you are sitting down on any trunks or sit mats or anything like that, it does offer an extra layer of insulation to your backside. Um, I found that absolutely brilliant, I've got to say, really good feature. Um, the zip itself is covered by um, two layers of storm flaps. Uh, if I just open it up, it's a full length zipper, it goes all the way down, you've got a double zipper at the bottom there. As you do the zipper up, um, I don't believe they're YKK zippers, uh, which is, you know, they still feel pretty heavy duty. The jacket has one storm flap that covers across that way, an initial storm flap, and then it has a second storm flap that buttons together like that. When you need to zip the jacket up to its fullest, get some really bad weather coming across or some really cold windy weather, pull the hood up and then you've got a third storm flap, like a little baffle, just behind the zip at the top here. So it's almost like there's three storm flaps. Nice button at the top there and then the hood has got two drawstrings on each side. Now what I particularly like about this is underneath the hood the drawstring comes about an inch and a half, two inches inside the hood so it really cinches down across your face and still allows this little storm shield here around the face and if like me you wear caps or hats a lot it will really seal the, uh, the warm air, trapped air around your face. Now, so it hasn't got particularly cold at the moment so I'm looking forward to seeing how this one stacks up. But if I just uh, unzip her at the front. That's it. The um, front two pockets are easily big enough, just buttoned downable with a little storm flap closure at the, at the front. Easily big enough to put a, a watch cap hat in there on the one side and also you know, a pair of gloves on the other side, no problem and there's ample room for other things and as I say they button down, there's no zips on those. Uh, moving slightly further up you've got two hand warmer pockets which are exceptionally good. Keep your hands right next to the core so you can take advantage of the body's core temperature, keep your hands nice and warm and in there at the moment I've just got my Zippo hand warmer keeping that close to my, uh, my core as well and then you've got one zippered pocket just on the inside for your mobile phone, anything along those lines that you want to keep safe with a, with a zipper. Um, excellent jacket. I've got to say I'm, I'm pretty prudent when it comes to my money. I don't like spending like uh, you know hundreds and hundreds of pounds on, on gear that I'm unsure about. Um, but this particular one for £70 I think is going to be absolutely um, exceptional. The other thing I've got to mention is that the, um, the cuffs are adjustable as well with hook and loop Velcro adjustability on them so you can really close them right up to keep that air trapped inside the jacket. 
it is considered warm, <coughs> waterproof but there's no seam sealing along the arms or underneath so if you are in monsoon conditions and you've got driving rain then you're probably going to find some water does seep through on those on those seams but from everything that I've read and everything that I've uh, researched into this particular jacket if it's tipping down with rain pretty much wet weather conditions in England through late autumn early winter you should be all right in this so uh, next couple of months I'm really going to test it out over the winter period the thing to go with the ridgeline jackets is that you need to get a size slightly bigger than you would do normally so I'm an XL in normal clothing but I've got the XXL double XL for this jacket <coughs> and that enables me to put a nice thick fleece underneath so you can uh, go through your layering system with a base layer and then a mid layer and then a top layer on top and then this jacket if you want to um, but overall really impressed 70 quid well spent as you say I've used it for the last month it stood up really well um, and that's about it go and check it out if you like it and uh, I'll see you in the next video.